Remember a while ago the Boazic University protests? Let me refresh your memory. It didn't really start with LGBT, but the whole blame was put on the LGBT community, the LGBT groups there, because they had done an art of one of Islam's holiest places, the Kaaba, uh, on a painting. The president said, you know, what is this LGBT community? They don't belong in Turkey. The Ministry of Interior shouted that they have no place in our uh, country. The typical hate speech, you know, that one. Well, some of them have been arrested and are being tried for creating uh, religious hate, which basically means making a mockery of Islam and things like that. The funny part about this whole conversation, even though there's nothing funny about this, is the main judge turned around to one of the uh, people who were actually giving their defense and said, are you a member of the LGBT? But when he said member, he actually thought that it was actually like, you know, are you a member of, I don't know, the NRA or Galatasaray or any other club where basically you carry a card that says, hey, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm the lesbian or I'm the gay one or I am all of them, which is impossible, but, you know. The funny part about this, even though there's nothing funny about it, uh, is that the judge doesn't even know what the LGBT means. You know, he thinks that it's a club that, you know, people get together on weekends and do LGBT stuff, which is perfectly normal. That's the Turkey I want to be in, you know, when the LGBT is part of my society, not the other way around. For a country that's trying to modernize itself, you would actually think that no matter how you pull it, no matter how you divide it up, no matter which way you want to change the literature, the language of the law, at the end of the day, these people are going to be prosecuted because they're part of the LGBT community, not club community. And that's the community we should protect.